Well, one thing that we wanted to do was have you on the show to talk specifically about how you use your iPad. Um, I know you've written some blog posts about this uh, and some articles uh, over the years and going back a couple of years. And I think that was one of the ways that you and I connected was that I, I wrote uh, a similar blog post. I think I actually stole from you, um, if you don't mind me saying. And um, so I, I've got an interest in this area myself because I, I am a self-professed Apple fanboy. Um, I don't own every single device that comes out right when it does. Uh, you know, my Apple Watch is at least one generation old, uh, although I do have the current version of the iPad and uh, a few other things. But uh, my take on the iPad specifically, and one reason why I'm so interested in it is because it seems like where it, it's trying to go is toward sort of a, a desktop replacement or a laptop replacement device. You talk about mobility and the usefulness of Apple technology and their devices in, in mo mobile uh, practice, but the iPad seems to be the one that really is, is sort of the game changer. Is that your assessment? Yeah, yeah it has been, uh, you know, I, I got the first generation iPad when it came out, um, well, I guess about 10 years ago now in 2010. And, um, you know, it started being something that this is an interesting device, and, but over the time, it has become just such an incredibly central part of my law practice. I use it um, for, you know, so, you know, so much of what we do is, you know, dealing with documents and every one of my documents is right there and writing things. And, you know, there's great writing tools on it and, um, and it's fantastic. I mean, I definitely still use a computer. I use a PC at my office. I use a Mac at home. Um, so I use lots of different devices. And when I'm sitting down to write the appellate brief, you know, I'll often start on my computer, but, um, but the iPad's right there next to me. It's a second screen. It's got all the briefs. It's got the record on appeal. It's got everything there. And, um, and you know, when it comes times to re revise my brief, I will often just sit down there with my iPad and an external keyboard and do it. It is, it is a very, very important part of my law practice, uh, certainly including my appellate law practice. And it, cause it's just such a fantastic tool. There's so much you can do. So, Jeff, I know the Fifth Circuit and Texas both have fully electronic records. Does the state of Louisiana have electronic records as well? Um, most of records. the courts do. Yeah, most of the courts do. It, it varies from circuit to circuit. I wish we were uniform in Louisiana like some other states are. But, um, but yeah, so that's fantastic. Um, so when I'm working on an appeal, I mean, I guess we can sort of start there because we all do appellate stuff. Mm -hmm. The first thing I do, of course, is get a copy of the record. Sometimes I've been involved in the case of the trial court level. I love it when I have been, but sometimes I, I get brought in just for the appeal. And that's the first thing you do is get a copy of the record. And, and as y'all know, because we're all on the Fifth Circuit, it's you know easy to download the record. I well, you know, I usually keep it in, you know, the Fifth Circuit has all the different parts of the record, the different volumes. And I'll normally download those PDF files and put them into a folder on um, right now. What I'm usually what I'll do actually is, is you know put them in uh, good read. Uh, I'm sorry, PDF Expert is the, the app that I'm mostly using nowadays, um, but there's a lot of PDF apps that you can use on the iPad. And I'll just have a folder that just have all parts of the record in there. And so that's what I'll do to review the record, to highlight things, to annotate things. Within the app, you can create bookmarks. So, um, you know, usually the table of contents will come across. And so that, you know, for each record number, that, that will already come across because the Fifth Circuit does a nice job with the way that the district courts put the records together. But I will create my own bookmarks so that I can easily look through the bookmarks feature to be, you know, this is the contract or, you know, this is the big, you know, the affidavit that's so important or the witness testimony, um, things like that. And so that's, that's my first start is just getting everything into the iPad and going through the record um, that way um, to start in the process. That sounds very similar to the workflow that I use. And I, I'm also a, a PDF expert user. Uh, it is really is a great annotation tool. Um, I, I use it on my MacBook and also on my iPad. And, and there used to be a feature in that software where you could basically wirelessly transfer information back and forth. And when they went through the last iteration of it, they kind of killed that. But I, I think thinking they were gonna try to incorporate the Apple sidecar feature somehow <clears throat> but that that really hasn't ever come to fruition it's a little more clunky than it used to be but I, I don't know about you i sync things back and forth over dropbox and so i just keep a folder with my work my working file synced on my ipad yeah for um, most of my appellate work that's what i do every once in a while i'll have something under seal and i'll have to you know i don't use dropbox for stuff like that but most of the stuff is public anyway and so that's what i'll do is i'll often download the record on my pc at work uh, put it in the Dropbox folder, and then I will have PDF Expert on my iPad 
you know, just sync with that folder. And so that way, as I go through and annotate the record on my iPad, all my annotations are still there. So if I wanted to look at them on my computer, whether my PC or my Mac, I could also do that as well. But I don't do that very much. Usually once the record is on my iPad, that's pretty much where I'm working with it from then on. Sure. Well, my eyes are getting older and it's sometimes better for me to, to look at even uh, things that I've annotated on the bigger screen. And the other thing I, I like to do with that just incidentally is I like being able to display two pages at a time uh, on my big screen because it's kind of like the old appellate records, you know, although the, the true old paper appellate records, you couldn't do that either because they were all bound at the top, you know, two hole touched. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but now that's, that sounds very similar to my, my workflow. Uh, and how I use them too. So 